Hi, my name is Brad Pollard and I'm the VP of Sales for Southwire Company for our factory automation line of products. That includes many of our variable frequency drive cables, which I'm going to show you a few of those today. We have a wide offering of variable frequency drive cables at Southwire today, and we've been expanding our offering over the past several years. So when you think of VFD cables, we want you to think of Southwire. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of those cables today. But first, I want to show you a few that we have at our industrial.southwire.com site. You can see many of our constructions, and we have many more than I'm showing you here today on this poster. But just quickly, a rundown, and I'll actually show you some of the physical products as well uh, of our variable frequency drive cables. We have a reduced diameter, flexible VFD, and I'm gonna go into a little bit about what these descriptions mean shortly. And we have our standard flexible VFD cable. Uh, we have a VFD with a signal pair. Some people call it a servo cable. Some people call it a VFD plus brake pair. And then we have a, a, what I'll call an industrial grade tape shield product as well. We also have multiple armored products that we make in a VFD construction. And we also go up to 15 kV in a VFD construction. But we also want to make your job easier if you're an electrical contractor when you're installing these products. So we want to be a total solution company around our variable frequency drive cable offerings. So down here, you'll see, you don't normally see, you, when you think of software, you probably think of cable, but we have your total solution. We have variable frequency drive termination kit. It's a low impedance path to ground. We'll talk a little more about that in a moment. And we also have a gland that can partner or go along with our cables to make sure you're installing it and you have the right materials when you're on the job. So with that, I'll, I'll pivot and go over to our cable offerings and show you a little bit about them. So this is our standard RHW version that I mentioned off the poster, flexible VFD. We, we take our time in this construction to make it very round so it seals good with your connection from your drive to your motor. It has flexible strand, three power conductors plus a single ground, an aluminum mylar aluminum tape shield, and it's double shielded with an 85% tinned copper braid shield with an overall TPE high quality jacket. So you can think of this as a high grade variable frequency drive cable, very flexible for ease of installation as well. If you're concerned about spaces, uh, spacing or tight spaces in your installation, or you're simply building a piece of equipment and you need a smaller diameter or a reduced diameter variable frequency drive cable, we also have that offering. We stock both of these products in multiple sizes, but this, di the difference in this is the first dr drive cable that I showed you has an RHW rating. And what that means is for each inner conductor, it's basically on this particular size of a 12 gauge, it's 0.45 inches. For the reduced diameter, it meets an XHHW UL listed in inner conductor. And for a 12 gauge, for your comparison, same product, same listings. We have UL CSA CE per Rojas 2 on both of these products, same constructions, but this has an XHHW rated inner conductor at 0.30 inches per UL's recommendation or, uh, uh, around that product. So what does that mean? It's roughly 20% 12 gauge is roughly 20% reduced diameter over a standard RHW conductor. So again, if you're worried about space, you have any space limitations, this may be the way to go for a proper installation of a variable frequency drive cable. So that's a couple of our flexible products. We also have what I'll call your industrial grade product. This particular construction is a little bit different than this. It still meets what we consider to be a, a proper variable frequency drive cable by having the power conductors, the grounding system, the shield component, and the jacket. So this particular product though has a tape shield as you can easily see there. This is a standard strand as opposed to the other product that I just showed you had the flex strand. And this particular product has three power conductors plus three symmetrical bare grounds that you can carry to ground. It has the tape shield with an overlap to make sure you have proper coverage in your shielding. And then again, the jacket. Now this particular industrial grade product is UL TCER only. So it does not carry the Canadian ratings and it does not carry the CE per the Rojas 2 directive. But if you're looking for a good quality construction in your installation, this is certainly an option for you. Just wanted to show you a couple more options we have. This particular product is an armored product. So if you have a class one div one installation, 
but you need a variable frequency drive cable in that location between your drive and your motor. This particular construction may be for you. Again, this is an armored product, as you can see on this side, with a PVC jacket over it. So for your mechanical protection. So we have a very wide range of offerings. Now this one's a little heavier for us. So this is a 777 DLO strand copper tape shield variable frequency drive cable. Three power conductors, three bare grounds with the flex strand materials, the overlap tape shield for your shielding component with the jacket. So I've been asked, why would I want the flex strand material? Well, if you're installing this particular product, this industrial grade product, very similar to the other tape shield product I showed you, but you're stripping it back, you're going into a panel, and you need some flexibility inside of that panel to work with the inner conductors to uh, connect them inside that panel, that flexibility may be of value to your electrical contractor, uh, to the electrical contractor. So I also mentioned earlier, and I just wanna quickly show you a couple of other components around our total solutions. We have a kit that we size to our products, and we have four different SKUs around these kits. So as most drive manufacturers recommend that you terminate and ground the shield which is a major component and one of the benefits from a variable frequency drive cable at both ends. We offer a kit. Now there are other ways to do this. This is just one way, but we feel like this provides a good low impedance path to ground for any current that's riding on that shield. And what this kit con contains is a braid grounding component and a constant force spring to hold it in place. And it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly ground your shield. Another option, that typically, you'll see this particular product used at the motor end. Uh, but if you say you're going to the panel at the drive side and you want to ground to your panel, you have a grounding panel. So this is an EMC grounding gland. And you can't see it here on the camera, but basically it has fingers inside of this grounding gland. So you would, and as you twist down to lock this over the shield, so you strip back to the shield, then those fingers, if you will, clamp all the way around that shield and provide grounding to your panel. So we also carry in stock this product as well for all sizes of our VFD cables. So I went over several of our offerings. We have several more. If there's anything we can help you with or have any questions, please email us at factoryautomation at southy.com. We'd be happy to help. Thank you very much for your time.